Hi, I'm Cody from Alabama. Just spent a few days in Amazon communities with Amazon Hope. We've seen the Lord do some incredible things over the course of a few days. Seen life transformation take place before my eyes in villages all around the area. This week has reminded me a lot of a story from Mark's Gospel, and I want to share it with you. Um, it comes from chapter 1 and chapter 2. Just to remind you, the beginning of Mark opens with the story of Jesus' baptism, his wilderness experience, and the beginning of his ministry. In the beginning of his ministry, he traveled around through several towns. Um, he performed many healings, demonic deliverances. He taught and preached in synagogues. Jesus was developing quite a reputation around the area, and this reputation was creating some crowds. So we're going to pick up reading in chapter 1, verse 45. It says that the news had spread around so much to such an extent that Jesus could no longer publicly enter a city, but he stayed out in unpopulated areas, and they were coming to him from everywhere. When he had come back to Capernaum several days afterwards, it was heard that he was at home, and many were gathered together so that there was no longer room, not even near the door, and he was speaking the word to them. And they came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men, being unable to get to him because of the crowd. They removed the roof from above him, and when they had dug an opening, they let down the pallet on which the paralytic was lying. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Verse 11, I say to you, get up, pick up your pallet, and go home. Jesus had such a reputation that people knew one encounter with Jesus could change everything. And so here was a group of four friends who knew that they needed to get their paralyzed friend to Jesus, that one encounter with Jesus could completely change his life. Maybe one of the friends had heard Jesus teach or preach in the synagogues earlier. Maybe they had witnessed a healing. Maybe a friend had been delivered from a demon. I don't know how these guys knew about Jesus, but they knew about him, and they knew it was important to get their friend to him. When I think about the villages around the Amazon, I think about this story. The villagers around the Amazon may not know the reputation of Jesus, but we do. We know that one encounter with Jesus can produce life change. It can change an entire nation. It can change generations. And so I would like to consider Amazon Hope one of these friends of the paralytic. It becomes our job to introduce people to the life change of Jesus Christ. These four friends knew that there were several barriers that their friend would have to overcome in order to get to Jesus. First, their friend was paralyzed, so they had to create a way, a portable bed, that they could carry their friend to the house where Jesus was teaching. Once they actually got to the house, the crowds were so intense that they couldn't even get in. So they had to come up with a plan to get a paralyzed man onto the roof. Once they actually got onto the roof, the Bible says that they dug a hole. Once they dug the hole, they had to figure out a way to lower their friend down to Jesus. And so there were several barriers that the friends had to overcome. And when I think about the Amazon communities, I think about several barriers. First, there's the barrier of distance, but thanks to the organization Amazon Hope, they have created a way to bridge the barrier with an incredible houseboat that you can see behind me. They're able to take groups, teams out into the villages to reach and teach the people of the Amazon. I also think about language barriers, and working with Amazon Hope, we've had the opportunity to, to partner with local Brazilian pastors, local congregations, local interpreters that understand the language and culture so that we can bridge the barrier of language and culture. I also think about barriers of poverty and disease. Um, there are The priest comes once a year. Several communities have no church. They don't have the Bible. There are several barriers that keep them from an encounter with Jesus. And so maybe they don't yet know the life change that Jesus can bring, but we do. And so we're gonna build whatever bridges we can to cross those barriers. So I appreciate Amazon Hope's vision to reach the Amazon. I appreciate churches that have partnered with Amazon Hope to send teams and resources. I appreciate that we have clinics to try and bridge barriers in practical way by offering 
glasses, by offering flip-flops, by offering clothing. We show movies to bridge barriers. We teach, we preach, uh, we work with interpreters. We'll do anything short of sin to get people across whatever barrier there is between them and Jesus. So if you and your church are considering missions opportunities, I would encourage you to look into Amazon Hope, to reach out for more information. They would love uh, for you to be a part of what God is doing in the Amazon.